really su um, a successful scheme that we've held at Red Oak Primary School. It's given the children lots of opportunities to take part in fitness and uh, running clubs at lunchtime. And it's also helped improve um, the fitness of the children in our school and also improve behaviour as well. And it's given opportunities to uh, the older children in school, year five and six, to take on responsibilities as sports leaders. two years ago, we didn't have any data to show the fitness levels of children in our school. And so what we did is we um, joined up with Premier Sports and took on the Golden Mile programme. And how the Golden Mile programme worked was, um, the Golden Mile coaches would come in, they do a four minute baseline fitness assessment to see what percentage of children from each year group could run for four minutes without stopping. And we managed to collect all of the data and keep it on spreadsheets just to see what the um, monitor the results to see who our fittest year groups were and the year groups that we really needed to focus on to try and raise uh, health and fitness levels. Well, but the Golden Mile is just a great way where you can monitor your fitness levels and it won't take up too much of your other time and take you away from your other responsibilities as well. And it's also, yeah, your data's nice and clear and uh, not too overcomplicated. And it's easy to explain. For example, if Ofsted came in, um, you could easily just show percentages of children from each year group that can run for four minutes without stopping. And then you could show the percentages that have improved um, from six months later in the next column. It's a really easy way to, to uh, monitor fitness levels. It's also, not only does it raise fitness levels, but it also improves behaviour because we hold um, lunchtime golden mile clubs for all year groups. And before we started doing the clubs every lunchtime, you can see this graph here, just at a glance, it just shows these red poles show um, behaviour incidents that have happened during that term. So this was in an autumn term before we were running the clubs um, every lunchtime but since we started holding these running clubs where they have structure and children are listening to their junior sports leaders and having proper coaching and taking part and being engaged with their exercise as you if you look at these polls you can see quite clearly that behavior incidents have significantly dropped um, since we held these golden mile clubs because the children they're, they're focused they've got a target they've they've got an activity that they're engaged in and have fun Children love, as you can see, George's cup here. The class has loved every week in assembly. On Fridays, we'd hold assembly, wouldn't we? The, the golden assembly. And Mrs. Madsen, our head teacher, would present the cup to the winning class and they'd always have a big cheer, wouldn't they? Yeah. And I think all the other year groups are really jealous of your class when you won the model medal at the end of the year. So it gives a bit of competition within the year groups and uh, they all want to get that medal at the end of the year. <laughs>